in Alabama, if an employee is injured on the job, uh, that employee's injury is covered by Alabama's Workers' Compensation Act. That law provides that the employer's insurance company pays for the medical bills related to that injury, a percentage of their wage, and sometimes it'll pay for some future vocational treatment. That law, however, does not uh, uh, provide for compensation such as pain and suffering, mental anguish, punitive damages against the party who was responsible for the injury, or anything of that nature. So if the worker was catastrophically injured or killed, those damages are not sufficient for that worker or for his family for that matter. It's really uh, imperative for the attorney to investigate other avenues of recovery from third parties other than that worker's employer. Depending on how the injury happened, there are several different avenues uh, that you can pursue. For instance, if the worker was injured uh, on a piece of industrial equipment or a piece of large machinery. The first thing you should do is investigate that piece of equipment to see if there was a hazardous condition that was present on the machine that either could have been designed out, guarded against by the manufacturer, or could have been sufficiently warned to prevent that worker from coming into contact with that hazardous condition. Those causes of action would be against the designer or the manufacturer of that machine. If you were able to find that uh, type of hazard, then you would have third-party recovery against uh, that machine manufacturer. That gets you outside of those uh, limitations from the Workers' Compensation Act that I talked about earlier. Sometimes uh, large pieces of industrial equipment um, are installed by companies that did not necessarily design it or manufacture that piece of equipment. For instance, there may have been a guard uh, designed for that piece of equipment, but it was not installed by the installation company. If you can find that, then you potentially have recovery against the company that installed that piece of equipment. And then, of course, sometimes machinery is designed and manufactured and installed with all of the safety devices and guards that are supposed to come with it and then they're subsequently removed by a co-employee. In that instance, you were able to bring a separate cause of action against that co-employee for the removal of that safety device, and that cause of action also gets you outside of those limitations of the Workers' Compensation Act and can help you provide the maximum amount of recovery for your client. Being able to investigate and understand those different avenues of recovery I think is an asset that sets Beasley Allen apart. Uh, our attorneys and our investigators have extensive experience uh, in investigating and analyzing the design of machines and different safety features to make sure that everything is in line with the industry standards. And if they're not, then we understand how to litigate uh, those other third party avenues of recovery uh, and be able to maximize the compensation that the client is owed.